In this video, me and my two songwriter friends are gonna be writing songs you can't not sing along to, and we're gonna see who makes the best one. Okay, let's start. Yay! Woo! In this video, I wanted to do a little bit more research. So I found this video with this annoying, ugly guy in a turtleneck talking about this very topic, how to make a song you cannot not sing along to. That's, that's how you say it, right? Yes. And the best part was, in the end, there was this nice scoreboard. So I just joined it, took it, put it into my stuff. Thank you, ugly turtleneck man. My mom says that I'm good at coming up with melodies, but I'm pathetic trash when it comes to chords. So to not confuse myself, I threw out my guitar and started writing melodies using nothing but my mind. I started out with the idea that your typical bonfire guitar anthem could turn the quietest librarian into Liam Gallagher at a football game. Whoa, whoa. But when I asked some folks on the town, they said this. What in a song makes you want to sing along to it? If the beat is catchy. The beat, if it's like catchy. A catchy beat, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think I got something. Been trying to go with very simple melodies and stuff. I really like extending a syllable in a word. So like, I try to hide it. That's kind of like the idea. For a chorus to be catchy, there needs to be repetitions within the melody. And at this stage, I had three different ideas. Hey, hey, da 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 So what I want to do now is I want to start by taking the electric guitar and see if I can come up with some kind of riff. August, that sounds beautiful. So I ended up kind of losing track of that extended syllable. I think it's very advanced now. But it's too late to change. The reason this happened was that I lost my brain into the music. I haven't done half of the things on my list. This happens every time. <laughs> For someone who does this on a weekly basis, I am terrible at it. I should just retire. After figuring out the chords, I found this random dude in my garden. So I showed him my two song ideas. Definitely the first the one. The first one. It's just got more like something you could hear on the radio. He went on for hours, but basically my idea is ultra catchy and Joel and August are gonna lose big time. I started adding a bunch of guitars because I had new sample guitar library, so I wanted to try. Things are coming together, but it is sounding very 90s. This difference is so big now. I did the thing I did in this video again, where like it's got this tiny verse and then it goes into a big chorus. I hope I will have time to record some gang, gang vocals, vocals for that. And as we saw in Ugly Turtleneck Man's video, gang vocals are good. Okay, so I came up with this guitar riff. And then I added this strum guitar and this bass. I think this sounds pretty catchy. All right, I've had lunch. Wait, what the f is happening there? Why is it blinking? Because you're an idiot, Jonas. Anyways, in both the previous competition, my time management was garbage. But this time, I sat down on my computer and made a super solid schedule. Just look at it. I even set aside time for dinner. Food proof. Because I'm running out of time now. I don't have time to record any more backing vocals. So I pulled them into Melodyne. And I just kind of pitch it up and down. Try to make it sound okay. Meanwhile. Hey, dude, knock, knock. You want to play some football? No, no, nah, I don't want to play American football. Also, I'm busy. I'm working on my song, so. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Go wide. That's not a, that's not a thing. I can't do this. I'm too smart for this dumb game. Hey, listen. No friend of mine is gonna be bad at football, all right? You live in America now. I believe in you, brother. You're right. I am Tom Brady. My baby! Okay, well that was a perfect throw, but we gotta go, we gotta run. Don't worry about me. Just keep going. Get back to the song. I'll never forget you. Okay, we are here again. I'm kind of not liking it at the moment. I feel like I'm gonna scrap this. So that's fun. I decided I wanted a song to have a five second of summer pop rock kind of sound with lots of electric guitars and like, <laughs> idiot, you didn't even own an electric guitar. I guess we're gonna have to come up with something else that I can no, use. No, idiot. idiot. I'm just gonna record my acoustic guitar and add hella distortion in post. It's gonna sound great. <laughs> I always do this, and I've done it again, where I will take on too much. I wish I could add more things to my production, but I think I'm gonna have to dial it back because I gotta make it sound all right, like mix it a little bit. La 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 After 
crying for hours about not having an electric guitar, things suddenly took a turn. Bianca's brother actually has an electric guitar and he lent it to me, so that's awesome. Then I realized this is a left hand guitar and I'm right handed. That's less awesome. <laughs> I tried my best to play it left handed, but my caveman brain was struggling. So with an hour left, I decided to try to cheat the system. Fool the judge by adding gang vocals and claps. Really easy, doesn't really make it catchier, but it might feel that way. It's like I'm stacking a piece of garbage on top of another piece of garbage and hope that people will be impressed with how tall it is. Okay, so somehow I had now ended up with two half-finished songs and I could not decide which of the two I hated the least. You can't honestly even be contemplating choosing that sleazy old fashioned over me. At least uh, I don't use uh, profane insults uh, like uh, that sucking mother. I'm timeless. He's a mayfly. Bonfire anthem it is. I wasted a bunch of time, decided not to go with the rock thing, tried something else, didn't get anywhere with that. I've decided to go back to the rock thing again. I'm just kind of tired. I'm gonna go and get a snack and then I'm just gonna go back in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail it. This is garbage. Listen to that clap. Ah, I hate that. <laughs> What I do. <laughs> After wasting hours going back and forth with my direction, I only had one hour left. I had no verse, no lyrics, and no money in my bank account. Wait, what? But at least I had the chorus arrangement. Nice. I had a bit of a problem. While I had chosen which song to go with, I still had to record the vocals, edit them, record all the other instruments, and mix the song to make it even listenable. Not having a lot of time left, I summoned the left-handed gods, recorded some quick verse guitar, and came up with this verse melody. Definitely stressed now, 47 minutes left. I was really stuck on figuring out the lyrics for the chorus, but I just got them. Hey, hey, do you ever not think that just maybe you should share what you're thinking of, baby? Now I have 24 minutes left. I'm gonna mix in 24 minutes and I am not good or fast. What I'm really saying is I'm gonna try to throw some plugins on the song and hope that it magically solves itself. I wish we had fallen apart. <sighs> I did it. I'm done. So how'd it go, everybody? Captivatingly awesome. This is the catchiest song I've ever written. And that's not saying much. <laughs> <laughs> Today's judge is Rickard from the team. He is a big top head and definitely knows what is catchy. Okay, August, what do you have to say about your song? I went a retro route with some kind of bonfire vibe. Old friend, it's time you packed your bags now. Hate it. I've heard Already forgotten this it. one too many times. How all that's good is gone left now. Sounds so nice. Our memories and shiny eyes. Disagree. He's trying to do an Ed Sheeran. I know a boat in the marina that no one owns. I took some notes here, and first off, it's a really great vibe. La, 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 la. It really makes me happy. I want to dance around and stuff. Really feels like a famous person called Ted Järjestad in Sweden. That was very popular when we were young. That makes me really feel like I'm a kid again. However, I wouldn't say that it's catchy. I can't remember it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, got it. <laughs> okay, next up we have Jonas. I wrote three different choruses, and I asked Bianca's brother to pick one, and he did. And it's the catchy song in the universe <laughs> you're welcome i can feel there is something new something's wrong i just know about you 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 giving me nothing trying to show you i'm here but no 
I hate this. You just tell me to let <laughs> yeah, it go. It's terrible. Go, go. You gave me nothing. Hey, hey, do you ever not think that just hey, hey, you should share what you feeling? No, oh, hey, hey, I could be there if only I knew. Let me love, let me love you. Hey, hey, do you ever not think that just hey, hey, you should share what you There's like a pitch song for five seconds of summer right here. You got my reference ah. exactly. Starting off, I love the drums. What I don't really like though is that I was really wishing for the chorus to have something that really catched your attention. The shouts didn't really do it for me. Hey, hey. Fine, that's your opinion, whatever, man. It's the only thing that matters, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his opinion is literally the only thing that matters here. Here comes the winner, everybody. My song. I wish. We had fallen apart much sooner Before you turned me into such a loser I left my life behind because you asked me Came cause I love you but you look right past me Saying we got unlucky Baby what's up with that? Now you won't try and we'll f me No we can't change the past but just for a sec Curse words are cringe <laughs> yeah. Gave me depression But at least you're happy I try to hide it But I can fight it what? What? Yeah, I'm giving it what? What? To everything I try Cool. All right, so I would say that this song starts out being really quirky and kind of cute, which I think is really catchy in a way. I wish we had fallen apart much sooner. And I really love the effects you have on the whoa, whoa thing. It makes it more distinguished and it makes it easier to remember. However, I feel that it lacks something in the chorus. Couldn't be more catchy with a real beat and not just like pour on the floor and the hi hat. But at least you're happy. Before we hear who won, we have a video here. We tried to write the coolest song if you want to check that out after. Who won, Rickard? So, the winner of this song challenge is... Joel! What? No! Yo! Why did I even try? Joel's song is the one I remember. That's kind of the point, right? Whoopi! 